Hey there everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Harry and if you haven't seen my videos before I make a whole bunch of videos including um, Minecraft and others, Towns, Modern Warfare 3, not so much but um, yeah. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you part 5 of my tech it tutorials and this is going to be on sustainable energy. So. As shown in the last video, it was a quarry, and I said that I'd powered stuff by uh, powered it by electrical engines. And to use electrical engines, you will need to have power, with which isn't generated by coal because it's very unresourceful, uh, if that's a word. But let us start off by building something called a bat box. Now, a bat box is made by I'm pretty sure it's four RE batteries and filled the rest in three RE batteries in wood. Um, hang on, how do you know? Okay, yeah, it, um, yeah, so, three RE batteries, one copper cable, and four wood, or five wood, five wood. Now, we will, we have got copper cable, that's coal. God damn it, we better have rubber. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if we get here, and we go one, two, three, and uh, one, two, three, with our copper, and we got a copper cable. Now, if you guys remember, if uh, I showed you how to build Mari battery, didn't I? You'll need four tin, in this case, 12 tin. We've got 13, I hate having odd numbers. 12, um, You'll need two redstone and copper cables. So you need six redstone and three copper cables. So as you remember we put the tin on the outside, redstone in the middle, and copper cables on the top. Oh god. Um then you have to get some more wood because <laughs> I'm almost out of wood which is pretty embarrassing uh, one two three actually need one more which is pretty bad oh sorry if you can hear that that's just my car going out in the background uh, so you go one two three four five one two three and one copper cable at the top and you've got yourself a back box now a back box can store power so the generator, um, which I don't actually have anymore, do I? No, I don't have a generator. Okay, well, um, I'm sure we've got one in there somewhere. Uh, there we go. Now the generator can be plunked down, and you can feed a wire from the generator into that box and if you put some fuel I'm not sure if we can run on coral and stuff pretty sure I'd like 6,000 maybe use fuel maybe not that much oh god um no I didn't think it would um coal I had loads of it there we go now if we put the coal in the generator it won't actually generate power into there but it will store it in something called the bat box which I've shown you how to build now it has six sides five of them are input sides so you can put input power into any of the green sides on this texture pack or it will have like a plus on the normal texture pack and the red side is the output so you can output things from say we had a macerator here we could put the macerator there and it would take the power up here into the macerator um, and we could store it instead of just having a little bit in the generator and having to burn more coal um, it's the lowest form of storage I've got the MFSU here which is the highest storage and it has 10, 10 million 10 million in it and um, as you can see right down here we have the nuclear bunker and um, I'm not sure if it's actually working, I haven't got any uranium in it but i um, got my Mark II setup which is incredibly bad and doesn't actually produce that much power but um, yeah, it's 
that's what you need for an MS MFSU if you're going to be doing stuff like uh, creating iridium ore. So now we've built the bat box, we can start to build wind turbines and solar panels. Um, for the wind turbines, it is you will need to build a generator, and to build a generator, we need machine blocks, which requires refined iron, which we've got quite a lot of. Um, it requires. Um, I'm gonna build four wind turbines, and um, that means we'll need four generators, which is four machine blocks, four RE batteries. So we need some more copper cables. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh god, I only got five. Screw it. Um, put three across there. And put, there we go. And that means four RE batteries. Um, it's only built one, um, one RE battery and a furnace. Now, again, we have no stone. Let me just put it in here. Um, I'm not sure if we need one for a solar panel. I've actually forgotten how to make that. It'll come back to me in a second. Let's build a furnace. Find iron in the block gives you a machine block. And you will also need a RE battery, so wherever the hell I put my tin not in there somewhere my redstone, which I should really pull out of the chest redstone, and we've got the copper cables, so again, as last episode, or this episode, I can't remember which RE battery is built as so actually was this episode, wasn't it? I'm losing, losing it with there we go. So finish machine block RE battery generator. Now if you put iron in each of the corners of the crafting table you will get yourself a windmill but in reality it is actually a wind turbine. So I've got like sixty up here. Not that quite that many. I think I've got twelve I've got fourteen, soon to be fifteen. Um no, more than that. 16 or 17. Um, sorry about that, I just accidentally clicked tab or whatever it is. Um, and let's just put it there. Now, the higher up you put a wind turbine, the better. Um, it generates more power. Obviously, it generates more power in a storm. As you can see, it's about half there. And right at the top, it's just above half, quite far above half, actually. And yeah, there you go. You've built yourself a wind turbine. Now to connect the wind turbine to the bat box, I would recommend using glass fibre cables. And this is something new we haven't come across yet. You can see them running along here, carrying power from this high voltage transformer along to the MFSU. And um, they are the best kind of way of transporting the power. Um, they're one of the best cables in the game, if not the best. And we'll need silver and diamond and glass. It's quite an expensive cable, but it's definitely worth it in the end. So hopefully there's some glass. But damn it! Luckily we've got our DM furnace, so we can uh, grab some sand, shove it really quickly into here. Got ourselves one glass. Uh, if we there we can get as much as we like as long as we got the EMC which again I will explain in another video let's just get 36 for now now you will need to surround the outside of the um, crafting table with glass you will need diamond in the middle and two silver each at either side it gives you these things called glass fiber cables and they are a really good way of transferring power they hardly lose any if you were say to put a copper cables all the way along, you can just put them in random places if you if you're short a little bit. If you put them all the way along then um basically you would lose lots of power and it would take a lot more power to actually power them. And uh, you can also build tin cables but they transfer very little power and should would be alright for this but uh, and they can travel further. Um but these 
That's why we gave us other, they might be quite expensive. It's one diamond for like six blocks of power. Um, are worth it because they do save you quite a lot. Um, so we've already got our wind turbine set up here, but if we just say connect a little bit off, um, going over here where our map box is, not sure I'm enough to go anywhere else. So if we build up oh, one, two, have enough to <laughs> get up almost oh god so we're just gonna rob some from here for now but obviously you can see it's quite expensive to make um so i'm gonna tear this down after i've, after I've finished um finished with the building it's all right for me i could have just built some more but time wasting <laughs> so if we connect this up now um, it will steal power from over there and we can actually just probably put our wind turbine on top we put it up there didn't we basically I connected it and you can connect it on the end it's better if they're more spaced out but you probably get a lot more efficiency done like that because um, you can have three times as many um, so that is the basics of something energy um renewable but finally we are going to because I've been stalling a little bit um we're gonna build a solar panel now requires three gold dust two glass two three glass two so another generator so we do actually need another generator um which is again I've forgotten <laughs> uh so one RE battery Copper cable and two redstone to build an RE battery. Machine block and a furnace. Not too hard to make. Furnace, machine block, RE battery. You'll be very practiced on building generators. Now you acquire coal dust, which is made by putting coal in the macerator and macerating it down to coal dust um, so if we put it in the macerator here now I've got high speed maceration on so sorry if it's going quite loud and quite fast um, so this should definitely be more than enough I'm just going to do it all because coal dust can come in quite handy some of it escaped but we'll pick that up later so we just keep three of it and we've got one electronic circuit but we need one more so that requires redstone and more already uh, more copper cables and more refined iron so <laughs> if we go the six copper cables we have remaining around the top two redstone and one refined iron in the center got ourselves an electronic circuit now with the cold dust we just created by putting it in the macerator we put it like that we get three glass and one generator in the middle gives us a solar panel now I'd put it in the transmutation table but it probably wouldn't work so let's just stick it up on the top of the roof here stick it right there so it's getting full sunlight I'm not sure what these are getting um, full sunlight and it will be generating power for the different things as it's here so if we Get rid of some of this power by connecting a macerator. Yeah, we got, we got a macerator. So that's powered. We didn't actually need to. You can't actually have things next to it, and it'll take the power out of it. But I don't see there's any point. So if we just say put an iron mine in there, it'll be draining power. But if we take it this way, you can see the power level is actually the same. But I think that's because it's connected to the, my actual about 600,000 wind turbines. If we just remove that, then I will show you that it's still generating power. Uh, so, just 
take that out and as you can see it's generating power slowly which is why you need um, as many of them as possible but yeah you can see it works quite effectively quite a lot of renewable energy um, but yeah that is the basics of renewable energy if you need any more help with this then just give me a shout on YouTube and I will make another video for you or just reference you to another one of my videos if it's that then uh, I'll be pleased to help you and uh, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.